Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 15, Amos and Hosea, Themes of Justice and Love. In a well-known analysis, the scholar Abraham Hetchel referred the biblical prophets as the most disturbing people who ever live. Their perception and emotional intensity might be difficult for modern readers to grasp. Hetchel pointed out that we tend to accept the world's imperfections and become accustomed to them. However, the prophets speak as though the mistreatment of the poor is a national catastrophe and misguided religious practices are a disaster. Their words relentlessly challenge indifference. This lecture focuses on two of these prophets, Amos and Hosea, who played significant roles in Israel's history. Amos was a shepherd living in Tekoa, south of Jerusalem, who preached against the injustice prevailing in Israel despite the apparent prosperity during his time. He utilized rhetorical strategy by condemning the sins of the surrounding nations before addressing Israel's own injustices, showing them how they were also guilty of wrongdoings. Amos delivered seven messages of judgment, calling out the brutal action of cities like Damascus, Gaza, Tyre, Ammon, Moab, and Judah. Ultimately, he highlighted the injustice present in Israel, where innocent people were being sold for material gain, and the poor were oppressed and pushed aside. Amos also criticized how religious rituals were being used to hide these abuses, emphasizing that God desired justice and righteousness above empty offerings. Amos prophesies warned of the coming collapse of the kingdom and the deportation of its people, which later became a reality when Assyria conquered the northern kingdom. He called for a just society and condemnation of unfaithfulness to God deeply impacted his listeners. Hosea, on the other hand, shifted the focus from social justice to the problem of unfaithfulness to God. He depicted God's love for his people despite feeling anguish due to their rejection. To illustrate this, God instructed Hosea to marry Gomer, a promiscuous woman who symbolizes Israel's unfaithfulness. For Hosea, God's relationship with Israel involved mutual commitment, and he viewed worshiping other gods, particularly Baal, as akin to marital infidelity. The prophet used the scandal of his marriage to Gomer to ask how God could endure in Israel unfaithfulness. Through symbolic names given to their children, Hosea conveyed God's outrage at Israel's action. Chapter 2 of Hosea revealed the possibility of reconciliation and restoration of God's relationship with Israel, despite the divine outrage. It depicted God's deep love and the desire for a change 
in Israel's way, emphasizing the need for tenderness and a genuine heart-to-heart connection. In summary, both Amos and Hosea conveyed powerful messages of justice, love, and faithfulness to God. They challenge societal injustices and unfaithfulness, highlighting the importance of righteousness and a genuine relationship with the divine. Their prophetic words continue to resonate with readers, inspiring reflections and contemplation of these days. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for watching our deep dive into the powerful messages of Amos and Hosea. We've explored their calls for justice and their uncompromising stance on love and faithfulness, which continue to echo through time. But the conversation doesn't end here. In our next lecture, we unravel the resilient hope found in the book of Isaiah. We'll see how amidst corruption and despair, Isaiah's words provide a blueprint for transformation and courage that is as relevant today as it was centuries ago. Join us as we dissect the five key aspects Isaiah brings to life, confrontation, purification, realism, passion, and vulnerability. Learn how these themes inspire us to envision a better future. Make sure to click on the screen to subscribe and don't miss out on our forthcoming episodes. It is not just history, it is about shaping our today and tomorrow with enduring hope and unwavering faith. So, set our reminders, share with friends, and be part of a journey that transforms the way we think about resilience and justice. Because when we look at the past with a thoughtful eye, we can build a more hopeful future. Stay tuned. Stay inspired. And as always, thank you for being part of our community. See you in the next episode.